What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto and we are not talking about technical analysis today. We are talking about cryptocurrency. Um, this is more of like a, I don't know, like a warning if, if, if that, you know, just kind of like a beware, a cautionary precaution. Um, <laughs> talking about exchanges and you know everybody says not your keys not your bitcoin and this isn't going to be one of those videos I'm not, I'm not here to talk about that obviously you know just like your facebook account right it's not your facebook account mark zuckerberg owns that right it's facebook meta owns that account if they want to shut you out they can coinbase whatever like blah blah, blah. obviously they can shut you out of your uh, they can freeze your accounts you know it's it's your money on the account but it's not your money if you don't hold the keys that's the whole idea there but that's not what i want to talk about what i want to talk about is there are a lot of exchanges out there that are small, that are small, and they want to do, they want to get bigger, they want to gain recognition, you know, they're, they're out there for the right reasons, and they're trying their best to do their best, but there are a lot more that are shady, that are not trying to do their best, they want your money, they want to seem legitimate, and then whenever it comes time to withdraw your funds, they never let you do it, and this was inspired actually by someone who commented earlier today in one of my, my, in my, in my live stream video earlier today, saying and I forget what the exchange was I wish I uh, I wish I wrote it down I wish I remembered actually I don't remember um, but anyways I'm not trying to like throw out names anyways I, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus or talk about things without personally experiencing them you know maybe maybe he just had a bad experience but but all in all I know I personally have experience and I have friends who have experienced um, with small amounts of money large amounts like large amounts of money um, where they have deposited money on smaller exchanges because they want these crypto coins that they say they list and maybe they do list them but then when they try to withdraw their money they have a hard time if not an impossible time trying to withdraw their money and just be aware of that you guys a good way to kind of combat this a good way to to prevent this from happening to you is to send a practice amount Send ten dollars. Send twenty dollars. Send you know if if you want to send a hundred dollars, go for it. You know something that if you lose it, it's not going to upset you. But send it. It might get eaten up by the fees. Send it on there and then send it back. You might have to pay like like a certain amount in fees just to do that. You know I don't know how high how high of fees are and on some of these some of these exchanges, but uh, send a small amount. See if you can actually get it off the exchange. If you can. That's a green light. I don't recommend that you put all your eggs in one basket. You should never put like like a completely huge, large amount just in one exchange. Take your large amount and spread it across multiple exchanges. It's not a bad thing to have multiple exchanges open um, for the same person. You can you can you know me personally. I use Kraken. I use Coinbase. I, I have a Binance US account, although we are we are frozen out of that right now. But this is why, right? Binance US is locked out. I'm pretty sure I haven't checked it in a while, but but locked out to US citizens, um, of which I am, obviously. Uh, if, if it wasn't obvious before, no, you're not stereotyping. I have an American accent, but but uh, what I'm trying to say is it's good to have multiple accounts for that very reason that if something happens and an exchange is going under maintenance and you need to make trades right now, they they get sued by the SEC, something happens, something critical happens that nobody could foresee and they get hacked. Like a Mount Gox episode, or I, I don't know if Mount Gox got hacked, um, I don't know. Um, but but you know, it, they could be hacked, it could be an inside job, whatever, and, and something like that could happen to you. And if all your money is on one exchange, you're gonna get boned, man. And that's, that's just not a good way to be. So protect yourself. Spread your money out. Just as you spread it out on multiple cryptos, spread it out on multiple exchanges. If you're trying to find a new exchange and you and you can't find, man, you can go you can go on Google. You can find reviews where people will say you have a hard time pulling money out of Coinbase. Coinbase is a legitimate exchange. You can find the same thing about people saying that about Kraken. Kraken is a legitimate exchange. I, I use both of them regularly. There, you know, and and Robinhood, same thing. Like you can find even legitimate exchanges have bad reviews, so it makes it hard to sift through the noise, you know. But just because something has good reviews doesn't mean that it's good either. So be cautious, be aware, and if you want to diversify, just as you diversify your cryptos, you want to diversify your exchanges, right? You should have some money in your bank account. You should have some money in this exchange, that exchange, that exchange, that, you know, like you should, if you're gonna invest, don't have it all in just one exchange. I really don't recommend that at all. That's the main point of this, is that, is that you shouldn't have it all in just one basket. And in the exploration of new baskets, Send a, send a small amount. It's a pain in the ass. It's not really that big of a pain in the ass. It just takes a little bit of your time. 
send it, see if you can withdraw it, and if you can, that's a good sign. That's normally a good sign because even you know, even if they can't if they can't let you withdraw ten dollars, then how are they gonna let you withdraw a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or however however much money it is that you're putting on exchanges like this? So um you know, obviously with larger amounts of money, I personally wouldn't recommend that anybody leaves money on smaller exchanges. Probably keep them on the bigger exchanges in crypto, like Kraken, like Coinbase, like um, even KuCoin, um, Binance, uh, Bybit, I know is a big one. I'm trying to think of any other ones that are like really big. There's probably some other ones that I'm just missing right now. Um, but those are, you know, those are the main ones that I named for a reason. You know, those are those are some of the bigger ones in crypto. So if not the biggest ones in crypto. So, you know, whenever you get to some of these exchanges that aren't talked about as often, they're kind of like no name exchanges or they're new exchanges. Um, be cautious. Just be cautious. That's that's all I have to say. So if you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more. Be safe out there. Be smart with your money. Again, really think about it. When you when people talk about diversifying your portfolio, diversify it in crypto, sure, or in stocks too, real estate, whatever. Diversify it in a lot of things that can provide wealth for you down the line if you're looking at it from an investment point. But with that money, don't put it all, just as you wouldn't put it all in one asset, don't put all of that money in one exchange. Keep it, keep it spread out. There's a bunch of benefits for many other reasons, man. Let's say, and I'll end it with this. Let's say, let's say you had a million dollars. You put a million dollars on an exchange and it goes bankrupt for whatever reason. And it's an American exchange like Coinbase and you're an American citizen. Your money is, is insured up to $250,000 on Coinbase. But if you have all $1 million on there, what's that mean? That means that only $250,000 is you lose $750,000 just because this, this exchange defaulted or, or went bankrupt, you know. Um, where if you have that same million dollars, you take 250,000, you put it on Robinhood, 250,000 on Coinbase, 250,000 on Kraken, 250,000 on on Bittrex, another American exchange, something something that's FDIC insured, then you take that million dollars, and yes, it's a pain in the ass because you have it on four different exchanges, but it's safe. It's way more safe than it is on just one exchange. Even if you buy the same asset on every exchange, it's way more safe. Gemini, Gemini is another big one. I, you know, I, th I think it's a safe one too. But they got they got lower liquidity than than Coinbase and stuff like that. But Gemini is definitely a safe account um, or a safe exchange in my opinion. I think the Winklevoss guys. I think they're I think they're good guys. I think they mean well. Um, but anyways, guys. That's all I got to say. Again, if you like the video, I really appreciate all the thumbs up and all the love and stuff like that. Just beware. Crypto is full of scams. There are plenty of exchanges out there that seem legit and they, they, they might even be legit for a time, but bad actors can come into play. They can get hacked. There's all kinds of stuff that happens, man. It is a crazy, crazy world in crypto. Do not get caught with your pants around your ankles. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.